Hey Tectonistas, welcome to my channel PSA, Public Shopping Addict. So I am so happy that you guys are able to join me for today's PSA. This PSA is all about Vera Bradley because I got something from QVC that's from Vera. And I am so excited to show you girls and my Addictonistas all about it. Uh, actually, the first thing I want to do is put on some lipstick because... I did not put on any lipstick and a girl always have to have her lips colored. <laughs> yeah, I just finished drinking some uh, some some uh, water and of course have my lipsticks in the glass. The, the struggle of being a woman. Anywho, uh, in case you guys are interested, uh, this color. It's a nice color. It's actually, this is a uh, Mary Kay. I don't know if you can see it, but it's Mary Kay. And this is in the color. Let me see if I can put that in there. Because I can't see the color. So I'm going to try to see if I can do the color like this. Nope. No, it ain't happening. Sorry. It's not happening. But the color on this is... Good Lord, how can they make it any smaller? Foil... Folly, oh, Folly Du Rose. Folly Du Rose is what it's called. Yeah, that's a nice, that's actually a nice color too. I don't know why, but I thought I'd show you girls. You know, it's all about sharing, so. Sharing the, the, the love of lipstick, which I love. I'm like, I am a, lisp, a lipstick, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know what, is it an obsession? Is it a necessity? You tell me what it is, but I have to have our, my lipstick. I would never, you know, you know that eternal question when they always ask if you're on a desert island, what, um, what is the one thing that you need? For me, it would be lipstick. That, that's just a, a simple no-brainer. Anywho, so like I was saying, um, I got a, a bag, uh, which I'm excited. Uh, this is from QVC. I picked it up on QVC uh, recently because they, they had it on sale. Uh, a lot less than what you will find on Vera's website. And it's a relatively new item. Uh, and I've been dying to get my hands on it. And so here it is. It was in a box. If you saw my Dooney, I just did a... A, a Dooney PSA it was all in there so I opened up the box but here she is finally in my possession I have Indiana Rose which is a new pattern and this is the uh, in the signature uh, because it is from the uh, uh, the main store it's not a an outlet version and this is a new style as well that Vera has come out with and it's called the mini Glen satchel and I do have two other Glenna's here that I'm just gonna do a little quick comparison if Glenna is new to you then welcome to the world of Glenna welcome to Vera Bradley oh and welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by and um, if you are a shopping addict like I am and you are not limited to a particular brand for me, I love Dooney and I love Vera Bradley, but I love all handbags and I love shopping and I love getting things in the mail. So if you're that kind of person, by all means, join my channel and let's let's go through the shopping um, extravaganza <laughs> together. But anywho, all right, so my Vera Addictinistas, look how pretty she is. Wow, this is so pretty. I, number one, I love the background to this uh, pattern. Um, it is like, it's almost, see, it's under the light. Let me put her up close. See, it kind of comes out brown or maybe like a deep purple. It's very like a deep plum. It has like a, I would say a brownish plum color to her. Yeah, so and even the leather, I'm not the leather. This is, this is faux leather. This is a faux leather trim, so it's not leather. 
but um, it's also uh, dark as well. Let me just show you right there. And this is what she looks like. Now, I'm kind of surprised about this because just right off the bat, I know she's a mini. I get it. But I thought that the strap would be longer. So I'm really surprised that it's this short. So I don't know if it's going to work out for me. But we're going to give her a try. Oh, actually, duh. I'll tell you why I say duh. Because, yes, you have this strap, right? Which is nice. And, yeah, you know, it might be a little tight. But it is really a... They made it in a crossbody version. So it does come with the strap. And it is adjustable. Yes, it's an adjustable strap. Which I'm going to... Let me just... Where are my scissors? Okay, let me just cut this paper off to see the strap. It should be one of those adjustable buckles, but I want to be sure. Yeah, so it's an adjustable buckle right there. And it's in silver, so it's a silver tone color. And uh, does it have any notations? Yeah, on one side of the buckle, I don't know if you can see that with the lighting, but it does say uh, Vera Bradley. So, yeah, so there's Vera Bradley right there. Uh, yeah, so it is adjustable. Okay, so now that we established the fact that now I can use this, that's good. And, you know, it's a typical um, clip. And you will clip this to the bag. And let me just put it on okay and what I do like about it is that the clips are on each end and the clips do say Vera Bradley right there as well so you'll see Vera Bradley there and let me clip it on the other side and the same thing it'll say Vera Bradley right there and I'm gonna clip it onto the bag now this is a small clip so if you have long nails it might give you a little little bit of a challenge but it can work okay so now yes so now this is much better now it's a shoulder it's a crossbody it's whatever you want it to be and just like the glenna it does have this this is really for detail i mean i you, you can cinch it you know you can't see it does work and you can cinch, so if you want to make it tighter for any reason. But most most folks just let it hang. Um, and it's I probably use it more for de decorative than for actual, you know, using it. Uh, so let me just take out some of this paper in here. Alrighty. So here is her little thingy. Now this one doesn't note the price because this is uh, it comes from QVC. But I believe if you go on Vera's website, uh, the Mini Glen, I think it's $70. So I'll link, you know, down here, uh, that information in case you want to look. Um, looking at the zipper pull, it's in the signature, or not in the signature, but it's in the, uh, in the uh, material. And it doesn't say Vera Bradley. Usually they will put Vera Bradley on it, but this one has no wording of any kind that's a first i don't think i've ever seen a a zipper pull without any vera lettering so i don't know about that you know you start cutting corners in those you know little things like that and what's next vera but anywho okay so in the end at least on the inside it does have the vera bradley tag in there and there goes the zipper i'm gonna lift this up so it has a zipper back wall uh, pocket and the zipper is in the nice plastic coated pocket so that's that and look how cute the interior uh, lining is that is adorable it is a bunch of little flowers in yellow so it's a brown interior yeah so the interior is definitely brown uh, a brown uh, background and it has these cute flowers in there all spread out with uh, top of the, those yellow uh, yellow flowers so that is adorable 
And then on this side, you have two pockets. Let me see. One. Yeah, two, two pockets on this side. So, as I always do, I am going to note the size right here of this cutie mini Glenna satchel. And she is mini, so you'll see the small size. And just like a typical Glenna in the larger, her larger sister, she has a pocket here, which usually is very deep. Yeah, this one goes almost to the bottom. And on the back side, there's also another pocket. And that one goes in as well. And I love that that quilted, uh, it's in the quilting stitching. And it's really, really pretty. I love this pattern. I love, I love the colors on this pattern. I love the, the number one, the, 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 the baby sky blue. I think that is so pretty the way it just pops out. And I love the, this yellow here, the way that pops out. So that is really pretty. I just love this. It's like that, a muted kind of uh, pattern. That's what really catches my eye with this. It's just that muted, soft, uh, soft pattern. Oops, soft pattern. So yeah. And let me show you the front with the pattern as well. Now each bag is always different. So this one, I am really happy with the with the pattern placement on this one very pretty I really like this a lot I do I do alrighty so um, and the bottom let me just show you the bottom it's an oval bottom just like just like the Glenna the larger Glenna big sister has the same oval bottom but this one it has a it's very soft it's not um, a hard bottom or anything and I don't think it's removable Sometimes it might be removable, but no, this one, this one is not. So you probably could wash it in the machine, but I don't know how that, um, how that's going to work out with that kind of cardboard in there, but I don't know. We shall see. Alrighty. So, um, yeah, so I want to kind of stuff her with some stuff just to see what she looks like. So, um, like I'm trying to get into a routine of pretty much putting in the essentials that normally we would take and then everybody can add to to it so I basically just want to start off with like a little catch-all I didn't get to change it but if you have your you know like Vera cosmetic cases that should fit but right now I have everything in this one so I'm just gonna throw that in here um, cell phone because we always we all have phones so I'm gonna throw that in there uh, I'm not using the pockets. Maybe I'll use the pockets, but we'll see. My uh, car keys is in. If you guys know, if you've seen this and you donated over the summer, they had that donation for you know ten dollars or more. You got this cute little uh, uh, little miniature backpack. I love it because what I do is I keep my car keys in here. So I know my car keys are always in there. Never to be lost. So let me let me see if I can put that in one of the little pockets. Ah, it fits perfectly in one of the little pockets. And then I have three wallet sizes because I know we all use different wallets. Um, I didn't bring my I didn't bring the uh, larger one, but I do have uh, three wallets. I have the uh, the Riley Compact Wallet. So we can use that for starters, which fits in. I also have the uh, the wrap and go, the, the grab and go rather, the grab and go wallet. And I also have this, I love this one. This is this carry all uh, in leather. Um, it is really cute. I love this wallet. So I need to maybe do a PSA of all the Vero wallets if you guys are interested in. But, oh yeah, actually, do I have a larger wallet? No, I don't. All right, but if you do have one of the larger wallets, it should fit with no problem. So right now, what I did, oh, and I've been using this from Dooney. I have my house keys in here as of now because I'm, I'm kind of keeping it in a, in a, in a coin and something like hard leather like this because for me, I have these keys 
And sometimes they kind of like, you know, obviously keys can poke holes and things like that. So I've been using this because it's a hard Safiano leather from Dooney and Burke. So I've been using that knowing that it's not going to puncture any holes in my bags or anything more, or rather into the ni ni nylon. So that's why I've been using it. So let me just show you. I'm going to give you a little quick glance. Okay, so I filled her up. And this is what she looks like inside the bag. And she fits comfortably pretty much your essentials. You got your, you know, say a makeup case, uh, a small size, you know, the Riley wallet here, a phone, and then I put my house keys here. And then in this pocket, I put my, my car key. And actually, let me see. I'm going to see if this fits in the pocket. Actually, it does fit in the pocket. So if you have any of those zip cases from Vera, it should fit in there with no problem. And I still have plenty of room. Yeah. So let me actually, I'm going to remove this one, the, the Riley. And I'm going to put in the uh, grab and go. So let me see how that fits in here. And using the grab and go, it fits in there pretty nicely too as well. So, yeah, so that, that works. And let me just seal it up. And let's see how the zipper works. Because you know Vera and her zippers can be sometimes problematic. All right, so this one. Well, I do like that the zipper is, let me just show you, it's that coated uh, zipper. So none of that scratchy metal zipper which thank God but sometimes those zippers can be so so not friendly to the hand but anyway all right so she closes okay yeah she gives a little practice and she closes all right so let me just get myself situated here now yeah it's that's gonna be for me because obviously I'm a little larger but I mean if you're if you're obviously with small arms, It'll fit you nicely, but it's not terribly that bad, but it's not something you're going to be able to wear over a thick coat or anything like that. Uh, but I would use this, and so what I would do is just I'll put the handles to the side, and let me just fix it up. Now she is at, a, at the shortest, so this is already as short as, as can be. So this is the shortest that I, I'm able to put her on my shoulder. So, that is what she looks like that. And not bad. I mean, I really need to get these things to go down. Cause, but, you know, she's been stuck in a bag. So, I guess with you, if you steam her a little or something, you can get that down. But, yeah. So, this is what she would look like on the shoulder. So, I really like the way that looks. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. And then, what we can do, since she is long enough, we can do this as a, as a crossbody. And yeah, she's, she's pretty easy to maneuver if you don't twist her around. That was my fear. I was gonna twist it around. Okay, well, let me not make it too short of a crossbody because then you won't be able to see. All right, here we go. All right, so, so, sorry about that. I think she needs a little more. Because I am not that tall. All right, so, just to give you an idea. So this is what she would look like as a crossbody, which is not, not too bad. Yeah, so she's cute. And she is comfortable. Oh, actually, I forget, you know, I know I, I put my phone in there, but let me just remove my case and phone and see, just to give you an idea. You should be able to fit your phone in here, because they usually do, so here we go, yep, with a case. So it fits, it comes right, for me it comes right up here, I have a Samsung 7 Edge, and it comes right up to here, so if you have maybe a bigger phone, it might just stick out just a little. But she, she's right there. 
as you can see. So it's not terribly bad. So yeah, I will probably keep my phone in here. It's easy access, easy to, to grab. And then I, now I have more room inside my bag, actually. So not bad at all. So let me remove my phone before I forget. So yeah, so this is what she looks like. Yeah, so I really like this bag. I really like the the mini uh, Glenna. I think she is adorable. And um, yeah, I got her for under, got her for $49 on QVC. So that was a good deal. And it looks just exactly like a Glenna. I mean, it's exactly like a Glenna, just scaled down uh, into a mini version. But she is adorable. And uh, yeah, she has the, the little grommets here uh, in silver. She got the uh, silver uh, rings. And yeah, both of these, are, both both handles, both straps are in the uh, in the faux leather trim. So I do. I like Indiana Rose. I think I'm gonna pick up more things in in Indiana Rose. So she is a cutie. So if you guys are new to Vera and you're liking the mini, right? You're liking the the mini uh, Glenna. I want to show you. And it's not packaged, just a quick version. I mean, if you guys are interested in seeing more on these on these two Glennas, definitely post uh, your comments. And if I see um, you guys have an interest, I'll be more than happy to post a PSA on any of the Glennas that you see or any, you know, any, any Vera things that I have. But yeah, so this um, is the Big Sister Glenna. And this is in Bordeaux Blooms, which I love this pattern. I love this bag. Uh, she's going to stay with me forever. I just love everything about her. My favorite part about this is that cute dragonfly right there. But but as you can see, it's the big sister uh, to the little one. And it's the same, the same details. So same, same everything. There is no... No difference at all uh, between the two, with the exception, of course, this strap, because the Glenna, the big sister, only has this strap, but it's the same, same everything with a pocket in the front, you know, pocket in the back, the same oval shaped bottom, um, the same little um, detail here. So yeah, so so this is the signature Glenna. And when I say signature, this is what you can find on Vera, verabradley.com. This is the, the main, uh, you know, where you will go Vera, uh, to the Vera stores. Now, if you go to the uh, factory outlet store, or if you uh, get an opportunity to, to, and I would say sign up for Vera's uh, outlet online, usually they'll throw out some uh, sales to take advantage of. And uh, that'll, that'll be nice. Then you will find this version of Glenna. This is the Glenna uh, factory outlet version. And this is in my other favorite pattern, which is the bandana swirl, which I love this pattern. It's just everything about this screams happy, joy, beautiful colors, and pop of this and a pop of that. And I mean, I really, really love this one, but it's the same concept. Uh, you know um oval bottom and it's almost the same shape this has a round a uh, ring whereas the uh glenna has the uh a square ring but this one has a round ring the sizes the sizes are probably about the same let me just measure the size real quick yeah so the sizes are pretty much the same uh, on both and as i mentioned before this one has this little uh, this has this the scallop here right the outlet version does not the outlet version does the opposite it's more dome so you're gonna find a dome a dome shape to this bag so but it's the same concept uh with the pockets on each side very roomy pockets i mean you, i think you could fit a kitten in here <laughs> not that i would suggest that you stick any live animals in your pockets but it is a big pocket um, and this one, this one is dope. Unlike 
Glenna. Glenna is a little, the, the signature is a little different, but it's, it's, this one has, it's more dome. I, I find it, it has that dome shape right there. The same for the front. So this is the front because it has a Vera Bradley uh, tag. It's a full leather tag, but it has that dip. But if you notice, see, it has that, that dome on it. And, and the inside is pretty much the same. It has that recessed uh, zipper and same thing inside like that. So, yeah. So this is the uh, factory outlet Glenna style. And this is the signature uh, Vera uh, uh, Glenna style. And yeah, and they're both pretty. I love Glenna's. I think Glenna's are, are really cute bags. Very roomy, you can fit a lot. Um, again, with this, for me, four seasons out of the year, there is never a time that you cannot use Glenna. So, yeah. But I'm really happy with the little Glenna. She is cuter than I thought. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be a fan for some reason. I thought it might, have, it might be a little too small, but no. This is like really nice to go shopping, uh, going uh, to the movies, dinner, hanging uh, with, you know, with your girlfriends for brunch, going out about. Um, she's a cute little workhorse. Adorable. I think she's perfect for work as well. So, yeah. So, here she is. My little mini mini Glenna, and I love this pattern, Indiana Rose. I am so sure to to pick. I want to pick up more uh, patterns, uh, more uh, styles, more bags in this uh, Indiana Rose. But yeah, so that's it. All right. So thank you, my uh, Vera Addictinistas, my shopping Addictinistas, for joining me um, and checking out. Uh, the mini uh, uh, Glenna Satchel. She's a cutie. You can find her on QVC.com. You can find her on Vera Bradley's website. And they probably have her already on eBay and stuff. But, you know, she's still fresh. Fresh in the market with great new patterns. Uh, I, I probably will. Might, I might check her out in Holland Garden. I have a Holland bouquet in the mini sling if you guys saw my previous PSA so I think I'm gonna get that cutie this cutie in Holland Garden too so because that's what we Vera Addicta needs to do we collect it all there's never you know we need it all and uh, and if you guys uh, saw my little let me see if you guys see that little uh, this here wait here yeah that's my all Vera stuff that I have in there. And that's just part of my collection. I have some a lot of Vera in here. I have a lot of Vera in my closet. And here, in this section here, this is my, my leather section. This is like my Dooney and my uh, Vince Camuto. Although I have some more Dooney over here. I buy it all. I just, I love Vera. And I love bags. But yeah, but she's cute. All right, but anyway, thanks again for, for joining me. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. I really appreciate all who have subscribed. So thank you for being such great subscribers and for always checking me out. And if you're new and you like the channel and you want to see more of Vera or Dooney or just to see what I'm up to. Because I'm always, like I said, my, my channel is dedicated to, uh, to the... the the life of shopping and we never stop shopping well I never stop shopping there's always something to to buy and now that the holidays are gonna be soon fast approach ooh, am I gonna have some fun <laughs> anyway but thank you for uh, stopping by and checking me out and of course I plan to get more uh, more uh, Vera because uh, Vera is always coming out with some really great patterns. But anyway, so thanks again. And um, I really appreciate it. And until the next one, my Addictinistas, please stay safe. Uh, be well. And love one another. And just uh, enjoy. And I will uh, definitely catch you on the next one. So thanks again. Take care now. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.